Is my okay? I'm good. Hey everyone, welcome to today's live stream and happy Valentine's Day. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, if you're new to me, my name's Liz. I have a DIY YouTube channel called Liz from Wick DIY. And today I'm sharing some of my favorite Amazon products. I have kind of everything today. I have fashion, home, kitchen, organization, DIY. So really just some of my absolute favorites right now. Um, Thank you guys if you're joining us. If you're watching us right now on YouTube or Facebook, you can click the link in the description box to come join us on the Amazon Live. All the products are going to be listed underneath for you so you can shop below all the products. And the cool thing about us being live is if you have any questions for me, you can ask them for me in the chat. I'm here with my content manager, Delaney. She's going to be helping me today. So if you have any questions, just leave them for her and she will let me know, hey, Liz, you got a comment, you got a question. Um, so far, do we have anything coming in? It looks like we have a couple coming in on YouTube. We have someone saying, hello, Liz, and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys, too. I hope you have a great day today. Um, and thanks for joining us to shop this morning. 
So, well, it may not be morning where you're at, wherever you're at. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> I don't want to say morning because it's like 1043 where we're at. So it could be afternoon for some people. Okay. So let's get started because I have a ton to share with you. Um, if you follow us, we'd love to give you a shout out as well. Okay, so first up, you guys, this is a DIY supplies. Now, if you watch me on Lisbon Mac DIY on YouTube, you've seen this product before. This is my rub and buff. Now, I know the price is a little scary because when I first saw that these are $36 for five of these, I was like, that is ridiculous. I kind of felt like they were too overpriced, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick them up, give them a try. And I will say I have done so many DIYs with this product. It's crazy how many I've done. And I could say I've probably done a dozen different DIYs and I'm still using the same set. So it's five different gold colors. And as you can see in the clip we're showing you here, I spray painted this light that I picked up really inexpensively. I sprayed it black and then I used more of like an antique gold color and what you do is this it's called rub and buff because it kind of gives that illusion of more of like an antique gold look so you just figure out which of the colors you want to use and then you dab it on with a foam brush I have found a foam brush works the best but the cool thing is you can mix and match all these different tubes so really you can kind of pick the tube that you like the best but it just gives such a cool antique gold look. I've used this on lights. I've also used them on um, mirrors, picture frames, really just a bunch of different projects. So if you like that kind of like, um, I guess, antique gold look, kind of older items, this is a great product to have. And what I most recently used it on was I actually had a gold mirror that was spray painted and the base color of it was okay, but I wanted it to have more dimension. So I picked two of these colors that I liked and just added gold in there with it. So it just gave it a little bit more dimension. So I find myself reaching for these all the time. So I don't know. I can't really think of any other DIYs I've used it on, but if I, if I think of another one, I'll let you guys know, but that is linked down below for you. Okay. So let's get into a few of the outfits that I definitely think are must haves for right now. The first one is a sweatshirt that I have been wearing a ton. This sweatshirt is an Amazon essential sweatshirt. Now this is pretty cool. The one I have is in like a pale pink color. The one you see the model wearing, but as you can see, it comes in so many different colors. It's super soft. It's not too heavy. Sometimes I feel like fleece sweaters make me really hot, but it's just kind of like that right um, thickness for me. I've worn it in the winter. I think it's going to be great to carry me into spring and the price is great. The one um, that I have linked here is $23.91, but I think depending on the color, there's different prices. I purchased my true to size, uh, which is a large and that fit well. If you want it a little bit oversized, just size up in that one. Okay, so next up, this is a dress that I purchased back in Christmas or during Christmas. And I ended up, actually, I think I purchased it in the fall. And I ended up wearing this for my family pictures. And I have to tell you, this dress is so flattering, especially if you're somebody who wants to kind of cover up your midsection a little bit. This little tie that's on the middle of this just really kind of cinches you in and gives you a really great waist. I don't really have much of a waist, but this dress does does it well. It has these little billowy sleeves as well. And I think it comes down at a really nice length. Now the color I have is red. This would be perfect for Christmas, also Valentine's day. But as you can see, there's so many different colors. It also is a thick material as well. It's kind of like a waffle knit material. Um, so I, whenever I wear dresses, I want them to not be too thin. And I feel like this does a good job of like being a thick, nice dress to wear. It's 15% off today, you guys. So you're going to get it for $26.34. I was telling Delaney before we started the live, I said, I need to buy that in another color just for like an Easter dress or like a spring dress to have on hand. Maybe like the lavender or light blue I'm going to get. But, uh, you know, I used to be somebody who thought that I didn't look good in red. But I think if you get more of like a wine red color, it works on so many different skin tones. So if you have like a similar skin tone to me, um, I was able to pull this red off and actually like it. Now, more of like a fiery red, I don't think looks good on my skin tone, but this kind of more of a muted uh, wine or maroon color uh, worked well. 
Okay, it looks like Imperish started following us. Um, and we have some people saying hi in the chat. And a lot of people happy to catch up. Thank you guys for joining us today. Glad that you are here. Okay, so this next top, I wanted to share it with you again, because honestly, it's one of my favorite tops and it's on a great sale right now. So this is a floral top that I got because I am really into neutral tops, but I felt like this was something that kind of stepped a little bit out of my comfort zone. And I absolutely love this top. It is so pretty. It's lightweight. It's not super heavy. So it's something that's going to look great in spring. I think it looks cute with jeans. You could even dress it up a little bit more with like a skirt or nice pants, but I think jeans, it looks great. It's $21.99 plus. I believe it has a coupon on it as well right now. Um, so you guys can utilize that coupon. Now, if you don't like that black and like kind of goldish color that I chose, you can also switch it up and get one of the other colors. And again, you guys, all the links for the items I'm talking about are going to be down below in the shopping section. So if you see something you like, just click on it and you it'll take you straight to that page. You can check out all the different options they have available. And it looks like there is a 10% off coupon on this. If you guys click on that link, you're going to see that. I'm pretty sure I bought this shirt when it was priced at around $30. So I think that's a good deal. Okay, so next up, let's talk about my jeans that I'm wearing. Now these are on major sale as well. I usually purchase these when they're priced at around $40 and I think that's a good price, but these are the Le Levi's women's 311 jeans. And right now they're 53% off their $30. So I'm going to stand up and show you guys because I'm wearing them today. These are the jeans I literally wear in so many of my videos. They have holes in the knees, like right here. There's another hole on this side. You can see they come in a lot of different washes, but they are so comfortable. I get my true to size, but I'm somebody who with jeans, like if they're not comfortable, I won't wear them. These are a pair of jeans I can wear throughout the whole day and I don't like get home and immediately want to take my jeans off. I'm somebody like if I'm wearing a jean that's not uncomfortable, as soon as I get home, I'm like, okay, I want to put on all my comfy clothes because those are not fun. But these jeans honestly work so well for me. Now, if you're a little hesitant about buying jeans off of Amazon, I totally get it. Try them out, see if they work for you. And with Amazon return policy, it's pretty easy to return them if they're not you know, exactly what you're thinking. Okay. Let me show you this next. Uh, these are little slippers. These are so cozy. These slippers. Now the ones I have are in a light pink, but again, these come in a ton of different colors. These are a perfect transition slipper to take you from winter into spring because they have that little open toe area there. So they're not, you know, completely covering like a really you know, wooly winter slipper, but they are super soft, but at the same time, they have a nice sole to the bottom. So you don't feel like, I, like some slippers I have that are a little bit cheaper. It's, I don't like walking on them because I feel like there's just no support at the bottom. You don't really feel that way with these slippers. Again, these are 29% off today. So you're going to get them for $16.99. They have over 34,000 reviews on them. I think Delaney, didn't you say you have them in the... Uh, yes, I have them in the gray, which is pictured gray. next to the pink ones. If okay. you guys click on that link, you're going to see all those colors. I also think the leopard would be really cute as well. So you could get them in a bunch of different colors. So those are really cute right now. Next up, let me show you another shirt. I have this one here, and this is probably one of my favorite shirts. This is a white linen lace top shirt. So it buttons up here, and then it has a lace detail on the edge, and then kind of has this like flowy sleeve to it. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's not a three quarter length, but it definitely doesn't go down like long sleeve. Mm -hmm. I would say, um, typically what I'll do is I'll just tuck the front in here now because it's white. I do usually wear like a tan, like nude color tank top underneath because I like to wear a bra with everything. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to wear a strapless bra. It's, just, <laughs> it's not happening. And then, uh, it's got the lace back here, but if you wear like a nude, like spaghetti strap tank top, or even like one of those nude, like tube 
tops, that would totally work as well. Or if you don't mind your bra showing, just wear it. I know some people could care less. So it's whatever works for you, but that's kind of just to kind of tell you guys what I wear underneath it. Another time, another thing too, is I'm probably more conscious about it. Like this shirt I put on this morning, I put a tank top underneath because I never know if I'm filming, if you could like, you know, see underneath my shirt. So I typically am a little bit more hesitant, but if I was just going out, you know, normal day to day, I probably wouldn't have worn a tank top underneath that. So that may just be a problem I have. Um, but this is so flattering. Like Delaney can kind of show you that clip again where I was wearing it with jeans. It's just a really flattering shirt. You could put this on with jeans. You could also wear it with shorts. I think it would look cute with jean shorts as well. It comes in a ton of different colors as well. So you can kind of pick the color that works the best for you. Uh, but if you're starting out with it, I would get the white. A lot of times when I find a top on Amazon that I love, I get multiples of it. So I'm definitely going to be adding to uh, my collection of this. I'm looking at the light. I think there's a light blue one that I was going <laughs> to pick up. All right. So another few options for you to pick up for clothing this spring is um our my kind of like i have this tiger tea obsession uh <laughs> this first one is 21.99 no i have it in this color i also have it in the blue it says easy tiger on it it's just the cutest little tea ever it looks great with jeans great with shorts it's a great fit to it i always buy mine true to size so definitely worth picking up but if you don't like that style you could definitely grab another one now, another tiger tee that I have is this tiger print, and this one is gray and it's got pink on it. Now, I did size up with this one to make it more oversized. It's in like an extra large. I probably would have just gotten my true to size because it was a little too big for me. So I don't think I would size up in this one, but I love the gray and the pink. And this one, I think this one's like says, go get them on it. I don't know. I don't even really know all the different sayings. I just think they're like cute and they look great. Like I have some of them that I put over, um, you know, like I'll put like my jean jackets over it. So if you want just like a basic graphic tee, this is a good option. Okay, let's get into some organization items. So recently I was organizing my closet and I have a lot of shelves in my closet. So if you're somebody like me who has a lot of shelves and you want to really kind of divide out your clothing, this next item is a great option. So these are called clear acrylic shelf dividers. And I believe, is it a pack of eight they come in Delaney? What does it say? Um, it says, yeah, a pack of eight. Okay. And what you do is you just put these onto any shelf. You don't have to screw them in. They literally just fit on your shelf and you can set your jeans in there, your t-shirts. And now I've had this system in my closet now for three or four months and it is working great. It really helps to kind of keep things divided out really well. Um, so this is great if you have a bunch of shelves in your closet and you want to like hang up your clothing. Or I'm sorry, not hang up your clothing, fold your clothing. Um, so I really like how this has worked out. Do we have any comments coming in? Delaney? We have a couple comments coming in on YouTube. Uh, we have someone, it says your username is Delicate Damsel, but if you give us your real name, we can give you a shout out as well. They said the slippers look super comfy and they also wanted to know what material one of the tops is made of. They didn't specify which one. So if you could let us know which top, we can give you more information on that. You can also click on the links and a lot of times it'll tell you all that information as well. Yeah. And if you guys are watching us on Facebook or YouTube, if you click the link in the description box, that's going to take you directly over to my live on Amazon. And then underneath uh, where I'm at on Amazon, all of the links to the products are below me. So you can just click on those and it'll take you directly to any of the products we're showing you guys in today's live. Um, I think there's. Oh, their name is Diana. Oh, that's cool. a cool feature. I can put the comments up on the screen. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, we just learned something. I know. New. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. Uh, Janet, thanks for following us over here on Amazon. Okay. So next let's talk about this. It's called a no drill acrylic container. I wanted an acrylic container to sit out on my vanity in my bathroom. And if you guys watch me on Liz from DIY on YouTube, you've probably seen this. It is just a three compartment container that I put that like 
that stuff I go to every day. So it's one of the compartments I put lipstick in another one. I put my makeup brushes. And then the last one is kind of like random. Like I have like my face wash and some other different things that I use, like my chapstick, things like that. But this has been a really great clear acrylic container. I, I have been just using way too many clear acrylic containers, but I think that I <laughs> love them. Um, but this is one I bought specifically for the makeup brushes and not just to sit out. So if you guys are wanting, you know, a little bit more organization for your bathroom, I definitely recommend this one. The other cool thing about this is you can use the adhesive to hang it. Like you could put it on a wall or your mirror if you wanted to. I didn't do that. Mine's just sitting out. But if you wanted to do that, you could use the command strips to do that. Hey, Kathy. Kathy's joining us from Connecticut. So glad that you're here today. We also have, it looks like Trace Walker says, hi, Liz and Delaney. Hi, guys. Uh, Doris, thank you so much for the follow as well. We love to give shout outs whenever you guys hit that little X button to follow us. Okay, next up is a toothbrush holder. This is great for your shower, but you could also use it like if you wanted to put it in your kid's bathtub as well. It's a toothbrush holder that you put on your wall with these little adhesive packs. This has been hanging now in my shower for probably about six months and it holds up great. You can put toothbrushes, razors, skincare, toothpaste. You can hang like uh, washcloths, loofahs, anything on there. This is priced at only $13. 94. And I find that it's great in my shower for like smaller items. I will hang my loofahs on there. I also hang like my skincare on there as well. So really like that product for keeping my bathroom nice and organized. Okay. Next up, let me show you guys this little fun bathroom container. Now, I guess you could use this in other areas, but to me, this is a bathroom container. It is white plastic around the edge. It's got a clear lid. And then look at this cute little pink topper right here. So it opens up like this and I have in there my Q-tips. I also have little cotton pads in there. This is the perfect little container to sit out in your bathroom on a shelf as a little storage box. Now I'm sure you could put other things in here. You could put lipsticks, really anything that you wanted in here. Uh, but I just think it's so cute for $10.99. This is a great little organizer. If you have a bathroom where you have to keep a lot of things out, I, I just like to make them look as pretty as possible. So I love this little storage box set. Okay, let's move into our kitchen items. I'm going to pull up this item down here. Well, Delaney, why don't you show them the clip while I'm getting this All right, I'll go ahead and pull that up for you guys. Okay, this, can, this next um, item is called glass mixing bowls. Now, if you've been wanting to use a little bit more glass items um, instead of using all the plastic, this is a good set. Now, this the bowls are, you get four bowls and they're all glass. They're so nice. Now the lids on them are plastic. They fit on really nicely, but at the same time, they're not hard to take off. So if you made a salad or mix something up, you could put the lid on it and throw it directly into your fridge. I just love this set. I think it's such great quality for $29.99. This would make a great gift. You could get it for anybody as a housewarming gift. And for me, I think the best thing are the lids. They just, they fit on so easily, but at the same time, like they're not hard to take, they're, they're not hard to take off, but they definitely do the job. Like they hold on there. You're not going to have to worry about them coming up. So love these as a set of mixing bowls. If you're in the market for mixing bowls, this is a good set to check out. Okay. Let's talk another organization item. Um, so let me know in the comments, if you guys have a, um, I guess it's called like a lazy Susan in your kitchen cabinets. I have this lazy Susan and I had the hardest time trying to figure out what to do to organize this. So I found these like pizza shape organizers on Amazon. They are called lazy Susan organizers and they're in a pack of four. Now, they're so cool. Basically, they fit perfectly on your Lazy Susan, and then you can organize everything in there. I have like oatmeal, vitamins in there. You could put hand towels and just look how organized it is. Like before I had trouble figuring out what to put in there, and I would honestly just put like big things that were too heavy to go on these shelves. So if you have one of these Lazy Susans, try to organize with these. 
I, most of us have these in our kitchens. Like, let me know if you guys have one of these, but this is what I have found has worked really well um, for that little lazy Susan area. I'm thinking about getting them for the top too. Like I put the four on the bottom, but I'm thinking maybe I need four more on the top as well. Okay. Um, Brandy said recently discovered your YouTube channel and I'm obsessed. Brandy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see a lot of happy Valentine's day. So glad that you guys joined us this morning. I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, we're definitely glad that you're here. Okay. So let's talk a few water bottles. Um, Diane says, I have these and love them, make organizing so much easier. Diane, I don't know why I took so long to find those because they, they work so well. Okay, so let's talk water bottles. I have a couple of options to share with you guys today. This one is called a triple insulated water bottle. Now it comes in black, but I you can also get it in a bunch. I don't know how many. Delaney will let us know how many colors it comes in. And it's 25 ounces. But what makes this water bottle a little bit unique is it has three different lids to it. So the lid that I have on there right now, and I think let's show the clip, Delaney, because I think it walks through all of the lids. Um, this is the box that comes in. It's supposed to be so you can keep things cold and hot as well. And with the 25 ounces. So the first way that you can carry it is by putting it with the straw. Um, this is how I usually use my water bottles, but it's kind of up to you. So you can use the straw, but you also can put this tight lid on there. So if you're taking it to the gym or if you have to throw it in a backpack, that works well. And then there's also one that you can use for coffee that kind of is like that coffee lid if you're gonna put hot stuff in there as well. So I love it when they make things multifunctional like this so I can use them for like different needs. And I find too, a lot of times when they do this, if I lose like a lid or something, like I have a backup to another <laughs> water bottle. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I, I do that often. Um, but it's stainless steel, it's shatterproof, and it also says the body is sweat body proof as well. So it looks like it comes in about 18 different colors. And Liz was showing you the 25 ounce but you could also get a 32 ounce a 40 ounce and even a 64 ounce one as well oh nice okay all right and it's 19.99 it has 14,000 reviews on it guys okay next up let me know if you guys have watched my fridge organization video on Liz McDiy. diy if so you've probably seen these containers because i use them when i organize my fridge now this set i think is a really great deal by green co it's 26.99 and i believe it is is it five pieces that comes in there delaney um let me it. look on the link real quick it is actually six pieces six pieces. Okay. Diane said she watched it. Thank you so much for watching Diane. So this is a six piece set. So you're going to get containers that look like this. You're also going to get an egg container and a smaller container. I think these acrylic organizers really help to keep your items more organized in your fridge. Now, if you live with a big family or just even my family of four, they're going to put things in random places, but they do know our cheese is supposed to go in the cheese container. Our meats are supposed to go in the meat container and they keep it as organized as possible. You know, a lot of times I'll have to come in and kind of, you know, mess with it, but these are a great way to kind of, you know, start your organization and keeping things where they need to go because it's annoying when you have to get in your fridge and you're like, okay, where is that cheese? And then you're looking all over. I feel like the containers just save a lot of time for me. Okay. Um, now I have another water bottle that I wanted to show you guys. This is more like the water bottles that I like to use on a daily basis. This is called, I believe it's called the slim modern classic water bottle. It's $23.99. It has fantastic reviews on Amazon. I believe there are five stars, 48,000. Okay. Um, Delaney, can you let us know how many different like colors it comes in? Mine's okay. This one has a ton. It's probably like 30 to 40 different colors and you can also get it in different prints and a bunch of different sizes as well. Mine is like the blue oceany wave one, but what makes this water bottle a little bit different is the lid on it because it comes with a straw, but it has this little suction right here where it really like holds the straw in place. So 
what that's going to do is let's say you're drinking and you tip this over. It's not going to like leak as much liquid if at all that it would, if it was like just a normal cup, like this cup right here, you could see there's an opening at it. If I drop this, it's going to leak everywhere. So this is going to be a lot more leak proof. It's not going to be a hundred percent, but it's going to do a lot better. It also, because it is so slim, it's going to fit really great in a cup holder, but still like carry a ton of liquid. This is 24 ounces. So if you're somebody who has to leave and, you know, needs to fill up for the whole day, or, you know, at least for a little bit, this is a great cup to have. It also, also comes with a hot, um, hot liquid, uh, lid as well. If you want to put coffee in it. Okay. Uh, Diane says, I love the clear containers easier to see what I have and don't let things start growing science projects. I hear you on that one. Although, you know, we all, we all have that stuff in the back of our, <laughs> oh, yeah, that you forget about. <laughs> or you're like, Ew, that's so that's been here a long time. Okay. Next up, you guys are these two. Well, okay. Selena, you're gonna have to tell me what the technical term. I can't see it out here. Toothpaste. Is it toothpaste it's squeezer? It's a toothpaste tube squeezer, but you can use it for things other than toothpaste. Yeah. We've used it for other things. Yeah. These come in a pack of four, these toothpaste squeezers. Now, why would you want to use something like this? Well, you can put these on any tube of toothpaste. So you're not having to constantly, like I, I always get annoyed when I'm constantly like squeezing it down. You just leave it on there and it's going to squeeze like every bit of toothpaste until you get to the very bottom. And then you're not having to constantly squeeze it out. It's going to utilize all the toothpaste in the tube. And then you can just take it off and put it on a new tube whenever you switch out your tubes. I think these are really fun. They come in a pack of four, four and they're $5.99. So you can give one to everyone in your family. And I think they're really affordable, kind of a fun gadget, but one of those gadgets that I think works pretty well. Oh, did you see what Diane said in the chat? They, they're also nice for beauty creams that, you know, I have never thought of using them for anything but the toothpaste, but you're right. Like moisturizer, scun sunscreen. I'm always trying to get like the last bit out. Mm -hmm. I should try to put it on my sunscreen. I use them. Well, someone said that we should use them on paint tubes as well. What, on the rub and buff. Oh my gosh. Ooh. The rub and buff you have, that would be perfect. I, that might work on the rub and buff. Okay. We'll try it on there and <laughs> see if we can get some more items with it. <laughs> Love your guys's um, suggestions. Yep. Um, yeah. Another suggestion for art tubes. Okay. Next up, you guys. Um, if you're going to be doing any kind of water related activities this summer, uh, boating, going to the pool, you need to grab some dry, uh, bags. I think they're called dry bags. Yes, yes. Dry bags. Now this set that I'm showing you is comes in a set of three. So you're going to get a large one, a medium one, and a smaller one. Now I love to use these. I keep some in my pool bag. We keep some just anytime we're going, you know, in our RV or anything. So the smaller ones are great for like your wallet, your keys, your phone, little things like that. You just get all your air out of that, twist it up and then clamp it in place. But the larger ones are great too, because you could actually put full size towels in these larger ones. You could also put your food, your lunch, anything like that, that you want to keep dry into to these containers. This set is $26.95 right now. It's 10% off. This would be great as a gift too. If you have anybody in your life who's outdoorsy or maybe has a boat or, you know, likes to go floating. Um, this is a great thing now that we're kind of like maybe across the hump going into spring. It's start, fun to start thinking about those items. Okay. All right. So this next product, product is probably one of the funnest products we've had in a while. So this is called the bag net. And what it essentially is, is it's a keychain that you're going to put onto your purse. It has a magnet in it um, that holds up to eight pounds. Now, why would you want something that is so, you know, high strength? Well, what you can do is you can leave this on a key or as a keychain on your purse, and then the magnet is going to hold your bag up. So you could use this on a bar stool if you were out and didn't want to put your purse on the floor. Maybe you're in a restroom that doesn't have a hook. Just stick this to the back of the door. Uh, you could put it like if you're at the gym and you want to hold your bag up. But the cool thing is, since it's a keychain, it just is going to hang on your bag. So you'll have it on there all the time because you just never know when you're going to be in those 
situations where you need to hold your bag up. But isn't that the worst feeling when you're like, I always feel like that when I go into like a bathroom or a certain place, I'm like, I don't really know where to put my purse. I don't want to hold it up. So I thought this was so cool. It comes in a bunch of different colors as well. So you can um, try it out. Uh, somebody just said they love the bag net and use it all the time. My purse is on my fridge. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but I like my bag that you guys see in that clip. I told Delaney when we first got that, I was like, no way is this going to hold up my bag? Mm -hmm. Cause I would even say my bag is weighs more than eight pounds. Yeah. Cause it's like a mom bag. I keep like everything in there and it just like, no problem. Like just held my bag up there. No problem at it's all. It's heavy duty. When it, and like when you stuck it to the fridge, it like, you can see yeah. in your face, yeah. it was like, <laughs> it's stuck. I know. To the fridge. I was like, what? It was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. They said it held my purse open for me at the register at the grocery store yesterday. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay. So our next item is a motion um, sensor light switch. Now you may be wondering, why do you need a motion sensor light, light switch, Liz? Well, if you have children like I do, they don't ever want to turn off their lights. So we grabbed this motion sensor light for my daughter's closet because she was always leave, leaving the closet light on. What it has in it is it has a five second or five minute timer. So whenever someone enters the room, it automatically turns the light off. And then after five minutes, it's going to turn the light off. It's kind of genius. I love it a ton. It's $21.97. It was really easy to hook up um, into our existing light switch. So love that product. If you have that problem, it's a great one to have. Okay, next up is the USB candle lighter. This is one I've shown on my channel before, but it's just a really cool product. This is how it's going to come packaged to you. And to charge it, you just put the USB charger in the bottom and you can you know, connect it to really any USB it's going to charge up fully. And then to use the lighter, you turn the power button on and then you just hit this little button right here and it will light your candles, barbecue, really anything you have to light. The other thing I like about it is you press the power button down here and your hands are going to be at a safe distance up here whenever you're trying to light anything. Delaney and I both bought these as gifts for Christmas. Mm -hmm. They make great gifts for people. If you have an RV, this is definitely a must coming up with summer and barbecue. I, you could definitely have a couple of these. And the cool thing is, is that once you buy one of these, you just have to recharge it. You don't have to buy lighters. Like I feel like I was buying lighters all the time. Okay. Oh, this is a fun product. So this product is called, you guys have probably seen this, but it's called the Rubbermaid Reveal Power Scrubber. Now I bought this product and have been just like cleaning so many random things. It's like a two, an electric toothbrush, like, but crazy. This thing works so well. So you spray your cleaner on grout or anything you want to clean. And then you just use this power scrubber and it will get stains off. You could use this on anything. You can use it on like right here. You could see I'm using it on the crevices of my kitchen doors. I've used it on ceramic tile. I've used it on my back door. I've used it in my fridge. If you have tough stains, it really just like gets the job done. It comes with two different brush heads and it's priced right now at $21 dollars and 81 cents. So love that. Diane said she just added those to her cart. Uh, Diane, tell me which one you added. I'm not sure exactly what, because sometimes I go, I go kind of fast. <laughs> All right. So next up, if you guys use magic erasers, but you don't really like the price of magic erasers, here is an option for you. These are called magic sponges. Now, Delaney, I don't see the price on mine. So you'll have to oh, let me know what it says. That. Sometimes it doesn't show it. Oh, it looks like it is out of stock. It must have just went out of stock. Is it? Okay. Bummer. Well, okay. Well, we'll talk about these when they come back in, but they're basically like magic erasers. So sorry, those are out of stock, you guys. No, sometimes like we'll be doing these lives and things just go in and out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this next product is one of my favorites because I have been playing this game with my girls like crazy. If you were a kid who grew up in like the 80s, 90s, you may have played this game. It was called Mall Madness. It was super cool and it was kind of a pricey game, but I asked for it for Christmas one year. They have recreated this game for millennials to play with their children and it is so fun. I love this game growing up. If you played this game growing up, you have to get it and play now. Um, my kids love playing it now and we 
we play it all the time. It's like literally the same game, but a little bit updated. Um, and Amazon has it for 7% off right now for $23 and 30 cents. Okay. All right. Let's talk a cleaning product that I've been using quite a bit. And this is the pink magic magical cleaning paste. Now I like it because one, it has a great price point on it. It's $8 and 99 cents. I prefer to use this to clean my stove top, but it really has so many different uses. If you need like a heavy duty paste that's going to work on a bunch of different things, like this says it works on saucepans, stovetops, tile, ceramic, and many other surfaces. It also says that it will take off rust, which I think is pretty cool as well. Um, this is a product to use. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of this on a microfiber towel. I'll mix it with water and then I will use it to kind of clean off my stovetop. If you have anything that's like, you know, really, uh, you know, caked onto your stovetop, this is going to work well. So just make sure when you put it on there, you add water. Uh, I think it works better if you add water to it, just to kind of, um, get it working a little bit better. And it also really kind of buffs and shines things. So I feel like after I use this product, it removes whatever dirt I have on there, but it also makes my stovetop really shiny. So I love the appearance of it when it's done. I've also used it on my ceramic tile. I think in this clip, I have it where I was using it on the ceramic tile, um, but you can use it in your grout lines. I used it with my power scrubber as well. I also like to use it if I just have dirt on a lot of things. So on my back door, I had some dirt on there. So I used it to kind of clean that off as well. So just a great product overall. Okay. So I've also been using this product that is a popcorn popper. Now I know there's a lot of these on the market, but I've been trying to not eat microwave popcorn and I absolutely love popcorn. I, I just love it. So I found this, first of all, I love how compact it is. Like see how it is folded up, but I pull it out and then it, well, you just pop it like this and then it creates a little popcorn space. Um, you can put your popcorn down at the bottom. There's like two little lines where it shows you like how much it's going to pop. So you can just buy any popcorn, put it in there, and then you're going to place the lid down on top of there, put it in the microwave and set it to pop. This really, I mean, it popped up so nicely. We didn't have any burnt popcorn. It was so easy to use, honestly. Really? And I love that because like literally this lid just kind of pops up whenever you're using it. You can add any additional seasoning, but it's just better for you than, you know, microwave popcorn. So I've had a few of these over the years, but I found that this one worked really well. So I, I'm definitely happy with this one. This one's called Popco. It's $13.99, 30% off right now. And you can also... So um, I think it comes in other, does it come in other colors, Delaney? Um, let me click on that real quick. If you wanted to kind of change it up a bit. It comes in eight different colors. Eight different colors. So you can get one to match your kitchen. Oh, fancy. <laughs> fancy. I always go with blue. I'm kind of a. I know, you're a blue person. For I, lo sure. I love the blue. Okay. All right. So um, this is a recent purchase that I grabbed, you guys. These are a set of coasters. Um, they're the basket weave style. Now I have the light gray. I also have the dark gray. I recently put two of the light gray in my daughter's room um, because I just did a new nightstand and I didn't want her to mess up the wood and the paint on it. So I put one of these coasters in there. They're great for cold, hot liquid. And I think they just look really nice. They're going to fit into so many different decor styles and they're only $6.99. So you're going to get six coasters for $6.99. They would look great sitting out in your living room, uh, bedroom, really anywhere. Are the other colors, isn't there one that's yellow? So there is like a, it's kind of, it says brown, but it looks kind of yellow to me. Okay. And then they have a white one as well. Perfect. Okay. Um, but yes, love these coasters. If you're looking for something that's just, you know, a nice coaster for your living room, we all, we all need a nice coaster, um, to sit out. They're very neutral, but cute. Okay. Other thing I've been really enjoying lately is this acrylic bedside, or I guess it's like acrylic bed table. Now, a lot of us are working from home now. A lot of us like to use our laptops, you know, sitting on the couch or in bed. This is a perfect hype. And I love that it's like a nice acrylic. I've been loving the acrylic. I told you guys <laughs> earlier, I love acrylic. Um, but I can set it off to the side and 
It's not going to take up too much space. Plus, it's clear. I don't mind if it's sitting out. It's got these nice handles on either side that you can use as well. This would also be great if you had to do like a video chat. Like me and Delaney on Thursdays or Fridays, we'll do a video chat. I can just set it up here and she's going to think I look all businessy behind me, <laughs> but I'm really like sitting on my couch. Um, you could use it on your couch as well. Like if you're eating snacks and need just a, a tray, your kids could do homework on here. You could flip it upside down, put it in a closet to store. It just, if you're somebody who just doesn't like to work at a desk, or maybe you like to move around your house, this is a great option for that. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about my wall mount shower phone holder. Now, this is something uh, that may not be for everybody, but if you like watching YouTube in the shower or listening to a podcast, this is a really cool shower phone holder. It attaches to the wall with, um, oh, what do you call those? Like, uh, is it, does it have a suction or is it a sticky? It's sticky. Yeah. It's like a sticky, I sticky. I wanted to say sticky sticker. <laughs> That's <laughs> not right. Uh, but this has been on my wall now for six months. It has not fall, you know, it hasn't come off at all. It holds up there really well. And so if you enjoy, uh, watching things while you're in your shower, or it would be great in like a bathtub for your kids, or maybe you could just put it on a wall if you needed to hold your phone in place. It just says it has an adhesive. Is that the word you're looking for? Yeah. Or, okay. <laughs> that was the word I just word couldn't we think of. For. Okay. So recently you guys, I purchased these leggings. Now I grabbed them off of Amazon because they were such like, they were like one of Amazon's best sellers and they were affordable. They're $14.99. Uh, they're priced at 25% off. They have 75,000 reviews and 4.5 stars. Now I do like my leggings that are, have more of that, um, like yoga style material to them and they're tight. These are more of what I would consider like a dress legging. Like they're not going to give me a bunch of support like a yoga legging, but they're super soft. They're going to look great with like an outfit like that where I have like an oversized like uh, oh button up that, you know, kind of like covers the bottom area. Um, and it's just going to be just a nice legging. They're so soft. They literally feel like pajamas uh, for $14.99. Try them out. See if they work for you. Now, this next top is one that I definitely could wear with these leggings. This is a turtleneck top that like definitely covers my bottom. I love the color of this. It's $29.99. I've worn this shirt so much and I'm not a turtleneck type, type of girl. I don't wear a lot of turtlenecks, but for some reason, this top is cute to me. It's just, it's just cute. I mean, you can wear it with leggings. It's just a really good go-to top. It comes in other colors, but I definitely recommend that sage color. Okay. Let's talk nails. I found this new set of nails on Amazon that I had to show you guys. This is, okay, so it's glitter, but it's also like a French manicure. I'm wearing them in this clip. These are so cute. Now, I definitely cut mine down a little bit because I can't have them super long. They're priced at usually around $6 for the set. I'll put them on with the nail glue that I've shown you guys before. And typically these nails last me about a week and a half, but oh my goodness, they are so great. Um, let's see. I would love, okay. Uh, do the leggings have a yeah. seam? Do the leggings the have is. a seam? Let's see about the leggings. Yes. So there is a seam going down the back and then the front area is a seam. Yes. Yes. They do have a seam, but they're not others. Is there any on the side? No seams on the side. Okay. Yeah. No seams on the side. Thanks for the questions, guys. Okay, next up. Oh, I want to show you the top I'm wearing today. Now, if you've watched the lives, you guys have seen this top before. This top I own in three different colors. This is the white. I also own it in the black, and I have a red one as well. So you could see this top part. Let me move my hair so you can kind of see it. This is a waffle knit. It has a lace sleeve, and then this is like a waffle knit part right here. It's super flattering. It's definitely, I wear true to size. So I wear a large with the jeans. Here you can see Delaney's showing you the clip of me wearing it um, in the black. The black is so pretty. How many colors does it have on it, Delaney? So it looks like this top has, oh, this one has a lot of colors too. Oh man, I'm gonna have to buy some more colors. It's like 30 different colors. 30 That's different pretty colors. crazy. <laughs> I just love it. I think it, 
I mean, this is probably one of my most flattering tops. And the cool thing is, is you can wear a bra and you don't even really see it too bad, even though it is lace. Um, but you can dress it up, you know, with jeans. It, you know, it definitely kind of makes you look put together. I usually front tuck it in whenever I wear it, but one of my favorite shirts that I have. So this is a shirt that I can wear in spring and fall, and then it transitions well into the summer. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's live. If you're not following us, make sure to hit that follow button and give us a follow. And we will be back with you tomorrow. We are going live again tomorrow. I don't know exactly what time, Delaney, think, we could tell. Uh, we're doing 1 p.m. And I believe we're talking about our favorite gadgets. Perfect. Okay, so join us again tomorrow at 1 p.m. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.